Time is very valuable. Every second that passes by will never return. Seconds and minutes from our life are going away. And sometimes when we, when we ask the youth, especially on the weekends, that you know, what are you doing on the weekends? Or, you know, he's bored, he has nothing better to do. He'll just tell you, no, I'm, I'm laying there on the couch or I'm just sleeping. I'm just trying to kill time. But he doesn't understand that he's not killing time. Time is killing him. That those seconds that are leaving will never come back. And if you want to know the value of time, ask a businessman, he'll tell you that time is money. Once a scholar was passing through the streets of Baghdad, and he says that, I always pondered over this verse, وَالْعَصْرِ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرِ Why is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taking the oath of time? What's so special about time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking oath of it? I never understood it. Until I passed through the streets of Baghdad and I saw one person who was over there, he was selling some ice. He was trying to sell his merchandise. And he was calling out to the people and he's saying, Oh people, quickly come, come. Before this ice melts. And every second that was passing by, you could see that there's water dripping from that ice. And he's saying, quickly, quickly, before it finishes. And he's running around all over the place. He says that now I understood this verse. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took oath in time. It's very valuable. Time is not something to be wasted. If any thought comes into our mind that I need to perform this good deed, then do it now. Because it's the trick of shaitan that shaitan always tries to make us delay. Shaitan will tell us that, you know, just postpone this until afterwards. When you have better time or you're in a better situation, then you, maybe you can come back. Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us this understanding. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us steadfast upon his deen and to revive the sunnahs of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Regardless of what type of fitnas that we are surrounded by, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use us for his deen and that way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can also help us be steadfast upon his deen. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah hari wa lakum wa lisaari al-muslimin wa al-muslimatu akhiru da'wana alhamdulillahi rabbil alam.